Hello and welcome everybody. Red Ninja here once again with another interesting Blender tutorial. And we're going to be creating a awesome pencil. And you know, we're practically pretty much going to have some fun with this one. So, you know, prop your feet up, get some popcorn. And you know, prepare to enjoy yourself for I'll say a good 10 to maybe 15 minutes or less but you know it may be a little extra time uh, modeling the pencil to clean up so I figure I'll let you know that in advance before we get started but you know just to give you a little idea of how we're going to do this you know, we're going to be creating everything from the lead, the uh, the wood, and the other portion of the pencil. And we're going to create this little design that's in here. Um, oh, and also these little hard lines. And also count the metal part that holds, I don't even know what you call this part. But I know, you know, it's connected to an eraser and such. So, you know, that's pretty much what we're going to be getting ourselves into. And on every tutorial from here on, you know, there's going to there's going to most likely be a new tool that's going to be introduced. And we're going to just, you know, uh, up the uh, difficulty with each video. All right, so with that being said, we're gonna get started. We're gonna reload the file, control N to do so. Oh, and also, I don't know how I keep on forgetting to do this. I'm going to use my screencast keys so you can follow along. Crunch in my uh, custom numbers that I remember by heart. <laughs> I know I use this a lot. All right, so this is your side panel, just in case if you're wondering what I'm doing. You can go to my introductory video. If you don't know the navigations, I'm going to be a bit, you know, not really explaining much of navigation keys because now you should really know. All right, so we're going to delete everything on our journey of creating this pencil so you know x we're going to delete everything okay so also something new that i like to tell you about when modeling certain objects you know the model something with a bit more accuracy precision however you want to call it you would use a reference image and if you want to access reference images um i'm just going to show you the first way and uh, in another video that requires reference images, I'm going to show you another way. But for right now, I'm going to show you this first way, which can be done by going to your properties tab and going to background images. Of course, you click it and you're going to click the arrow to drag it down. You're going to definitely go to add images and you know you can pick which view you want your image to be in and if you have if you have a whole bunch of reference images that you've been using you know you can access it here or type it in right here uh, let's see and you of course you press the open uh, you press open and it'll open up you know a folder and you know you can browse to wherever your images are located i'm not going to do that because you know that can be you know a nuisance in trying to find an image out of a whole bunch of folders so i'm going to show you the shortcut method which would be to have a folder already open that has your image that you would like to use so i'm gonna do that right now and this is the image that I'm going to use. So you're going to, of course, click it and left click drag. 
and then you're going to drag it into Blender. You're going to drag it into the center of the screen. And your image is going to be right here. But we're going to get rid of this one right here. So I know you're like, well, I brought in an image. Now, where is it? The image is there, but it's on a different view. But if you press one on your numpad, voila, there's your image. The trick with using background images on here is you always going to have to be in your ortho view. So, you know, right ortho, top ortho, back, right, left, bottom. Only ortho, orthographic view, that's the only view that will display a background image. Perspective, anything that has perspective, user perspective or whatever, it's not going to display your image. With that being said, minimize your properties panel and also minimize your uh, tool shelf so now what we're going to do we're going to create a circle which is going to be uh, the primary shape of our pencil so shift a mesh right here mesh circle now by default you get oh yeah press f6 by default you're going to get about uh 32 vertices by oh okay i usually hate when that happens for some weird reason it always does that but for i'm gonna bring it back up using the same method i showed you but by default you start off with 32 vertices we're going to switch that to about eight and then we're going to bring our image back up okay so i'm just going to you know drag it back over here okay minimize that so with eight vertices what we're going to do we're going to Rotate with the R key uh, 90 degrees. Tab into edit mode to make sure that's edit mode. And what we're going to do now, we're going to scale it on all axes and zoom in some with your scroll wheel. So scale it down and we're going to line it up with our reference image by hitting the grab key and moving it up with the Z key, your Z axis. So, and you know, adjust however you like. Okay, so now next step, we're going to press the E key for extrude and we're gonna constrain it on the X axis. So constrain that. And we're gonna get the basic shape of the pencil. So we're going to extrude this with the X axis to constrain it. With the E key, we're gonna extrude with the E key, constrain with the X axis right there. So now we're going to get that hard edge and also press Z to get out of wireframe. And also if this grid is getting in your way like it's getting in mine go to your properties tab I mean shelf and you're going to go to display you're going to press you're going to click on grid floor and you're going to uncheck you're going to click both of these axes that's in your way X and Y all right so now all right, we see that we need the hard edge for the pencil. So with your, excuse me, uh, we're gonna change the select type on our model. By default, we have vertices selected and we're gonna go to edge. All right, so control tab and go to edge. 
you're going to hold the alt key and and control key and you're going to right click the ver the uh, edge and you want to get all the edges now what you're going to do now because you want to get this side as well you're going to hold all control and shift and you're also going to right click right here on this edge and that adds it to the selection that's the uh, shortcut key see now you got a new tool to use okay so now to get these uh, edges these hard edges you're going to use the bevel so control B oops bring it a bit right right here I'll say a value of about let's see um, 0 0.2 no let's see Oops. I messed up all right a value of about and also use your scroll wheel scroll it up one time so uh, I'm trying to get it right where it's at. So I'll say, if you look at the bottom, you'll see the numbers. And it says 0 0.021. So in case, you know, if you didn't, if you didn't, you know, scroll up, we're just going to, you know, manually input that as you can do. 0 0.021. And scroll up. Oops. Uh, I hate when it does that. Little little technical error. Sorry. So, zero point zero twenty one. And press enter to confirm. And now let's look at what we got. Now, I say that that's pretty decent. Um, go into your other panel over here, uh, header, and you're gonna select the modifier modifiers panel with the wrench icon, and we're going to add a subdivision surface. Increase it to about two, which is yep two. And now you got the basic shape of the pencil, the basic hard edges. That's only now, this is only half the problem, half the battle with uh, this pencil. And now the next part, which you may have to watch multiple times in case it may lose you. So just bear in mind. So we're going to add a loop with control R and we're going to drag it all the way over here. Right about, all right, yeah, right about here. And we're going to actually add another one in between. So, okay, so now, what we're going to do, ooh, I hate when it does that. Uh, now what we're going to do, we're going to extrude this uh, going forward on the x-axis, which will uh, match up with the, uh, the point, the lead point. So we're going to extrude, constrain it to the x-axis, and we're going to go about... Uh, we're going to get the whole thing actually for right now. So about point uh, zero point seven. So in case if you know you're not trying to scroll it, just do zero point seven. All right, and we're going to confirm that. And now we're going to uniformly scale this down. Um, 
uniformly scale, uniform scale. All right, and I'm just gonna move this up a little bit. All right, so now here's the part where it's gonna get a bit more tricky, is that now we're gonna, this, these edges right here are going to be the ones that's gonna stay in place on the, this weird design that it has, that it goes like, like this. I'm using a grease pencil, you know, if you're not really sure what I'm doing. And you would hold D and left click anywhere on your screen to use the grease pencil. But for the pencil, we're going to get these little parts right here. We're going to get that right here. And it's going to stand in place. We're going to actually, let me not try to explain it because I uh, explain that, you know, this little pattern because I, I don't want to confuse you. So I'm just going to get rid of this. Hold D and right click it if you're wondering. What we're going to do next, we're going to add some extra loop cuts along here. So right click. I mean, control R. It's going to be in the center. Left click, then right click. And we're going to repeat the very same thing for these little gaps in between all all of the these these uh spaced out faces, spaced out polygons. So we're going to do the exact same thing right there. Right here right here uh, rotate your camera so you can see all right yep i got them all all right so now another thing that we're going to do well the next step Go back into your front view. Um, we're going to get that uh, shape right here with the pencil. Let me double click, bring this over. You see this little, you know, engraving on the pencil? We're going to get that right now. With these uh, extra edges that we added in, we're going to drag them down in such a way that, you know, it's going to make this pattern. All right, so let's get this out the way. And we're going to select these files. We're going to select the following vertices. Just follow along. And hopefully you know how to rotate your camera once more. If you don't really know how to do that, I, re I prefer you go back to my other videos, my introductory video because it goes over all of these, all of the things that you need to know to be able to do some of my tutorials. All right, with that being said, we got all those selected. Press numpad one for your front view. Now, we're gonna press the G key and we're gonna constrain it on the X axis and we're gonna drag it forward. We're gonna drag it about right here. And let me see, do we need to scale it out a bit? Scale it out about, I'll say, uh, 0 0.01 to be on the safe side. Um, wait. Was that negative? Uh, all right, that's positive. So uh, 1.01. One. And now you got that shape right there. You can make it longer if, if you want, which may be better. So I'm gonna move that forward right there. All right, so you got that. And to get an even better look at how it's looking, tab into edit mode, 
press A to select everything and go to Shade Smooth. All right, that did help, but we still need more stuff to fix it up. So tap back into edit mode. Now we have a little bit of a mess going on, but as I was saying from before, that's gonna be the, that's gonna make the video a little bit slightly longer to fix those little problems. And also when you have everything selected and if you press the period key, it re-centers your camera on your object in case if you're having the same little issues with moving your camera. All right. So now we got that part. If we look at our reference image, now we got the lead part. I mean, well, we're gonna add an edge that's gonna count for the lead. Actually, we could do that right now. All right, and now you got, you know, we're at a material for the lead. So now we want to finish the pencil off by creating the eraser and we're going to do that by let's see clicking our faces and we're going to scale x zero just in case and now what we want to do we want to press the e key to extrude Constrain it to your X axis. Move it up a notch. We're gonna do the eraser next, but we're just gonna worry about the metal bearing on the uh, on the cylinder. So now we're gonna add some subdivisions on this model to get a little bit of the detail here. We're not gonna to go too detailed. So we're gonna get this part right here at the edge. So we're going to use our loop cut tool and we're going to drag it. So we got it right about here and we're going to create two more. Well, we're going to create a couple. So we're going to add this right here and we're going to add two right here. And we're going to press S on, we're going to press S to scale and X to constrain it to the X axis right there. And now the next step we're gonna do is control tab, face, and we're going to select those edges by holding, you know, Alt and control, and we're gonna shift click. So shift click those. Now press the E key, E, cancel. We're gonna press Alt S, which is to scale on the normals. So Alt S. And we're gonna scale about 0 0.01. Uh, or is that too much? That's too much. So let's say Alt S uh, 0 0.01. Where did I do that already? Did I do that? Well, I think I did that one already. Okay, yeah. That uh, this is gonna work. Or let me see. Or should I have made that a bit? Smaller. All right. Uh, zero point. I mean, point zero one works. All right. So the next step will be to get these little metal parts, and it's going to be like three steps. I remember for here. So we're going to add about four loop cuts. Control R. Use your scroll wheel. Scroll it up. Left click, right click to confirm. We're gonna do the same right here. Scroll up four times. 
left click right click to confirm go into your edge edge mode and you're going to select all these edges by holding control and shift and right clicking Now what you're going to do, you're going to bevel, control B, you're going to bevel them to about, I'm trying to see if a number, a good number of about 0 0.01. Yeah, 0.01. And also, we're going, yeah, you're going to add another segment. So add that. All right, confirm that. So the interesting part will be to just click those little spots by holding Alt. You're going to Alt click to select the loop. And now we're going to get those little individual parts. And we're going to select it using this. Oops. Now, after you select all those, Alt Control plus Shift. And select the following as shown. All right. Now, what we're going to do now, we're going to rotate our Press period on your numpad and move around by using your scroll wheel. Press the E key, cancel. We're going to press Alt R and we're going to move these on our own normals. And we're going to move it about, let's say, let's say about, looks like a point uh oops zero uh point zero zero five may be decent zero point zero zero five and if we look at our image Okay, that's pretty decent. I mean, there's numerous ways that you can go about doing that, but you know, it's just my way. So, 0 0.005 after pressing Alt S, and we're going to confirm with that. So now, we're gonna go about Vertex, and we're gonna go back here. Now we're just gonna finish it off with the eraser and we're going to extrude X confirm click and now okay so there's a little bit there's there's some oddness with the uh, with the shaping it's not a perfect circle but if you want to get a perfect circle out of here with the with the minimum you know possibility of messing up you're going to go file user preferences go to add-ons and i know this is kind of you know extending it a little bit but go to enable and you're going to enable mesh loop tools so you're going to you know you click your icon and also remember to go to save user settings. All right. And you press the W key and you'll have loop tools up here and you're always going to use for stuff like this, the circle. It's going to change the vertices into a circle shape, see? Now what you're going to do, press the E key, scale. Scale it in a lot. Confirm click with left, press F to create a face. Now add some loop cuts, like about three, yep. 
and voila. I mean, you can always just fix a bunch of this, but that's not necessary. And let's apply our subdivision modifier. All right, so, oh yeah, we forgot to add a hard edge to make our eraser tip stay the same. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna add one more right here. And now we're gonna go back into it, tab into object mode, and now we have it. Now it's looking a bit odd right here cause we still got this hard edge shape right here, whereas right with this uh, eraser it should be more circular instead of you know with that hard edge look so I mean you can always fix that but with here I wanted to scale some of these up and I'm gonna look here to look at my final actually Actually, I'm going to select that loop with alt click, press X, and hit edge loop. We're going to do the same thing with this one. All right. And we're going to move this down and scale it, scale it up a little bit. All right, so that's looking fine with me. Now we're gonna add one more edge to keep it hard as we've been doing from before. So right there. And now I would say that's practically the whole pencil. Now, uh, let's see. yep. I mean, you can go on to make this sharp, but we're really not going to go there. I think perhaps I'll make a cleanup video for this for the pencil so that I won't be taking too much time from you. Oops. I had the wrong thing selected. So this is going to continue in a part two. So I hope you learned a lot in this video. And in the next, just to say again, we're going to do some cleanup. And we're going to refine a bunch of the shapes and we're going to add some materials. Okay? Alright. Hope you have a good one. Look at the next one.